And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, Happy New Year, y'all. How are y'all? What's up, fam? And before we get to going, we want to make sure, because we not, as you can see, we not set up at home. Not at all. So <laughs> in the chat, just put a one to let us know that you can hear us before we start going off on a rant. Yeah, that part. Yeah. So while in the meantime, I see some of you guys are speaking, uh, but just put that one in the chat so we'll know that you can hear us. Hey, back outside. Hey, Gregory. Hey, Jessica. Hey, she All loves right. my Thank you, sleigh. T Glass. Appreciate that. Yes, T Glass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say, so when you do something that's not in your norm, you always kind of feel discombobulated. Hey, Dime. Hey, yeah. Kimberly. There we go. Should I change my glasses? Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that looks. I'm trying to make sure we. I'm trying to make sure we cope with that. Yeah. Here we go. That looks better. New Year's glasses. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, happy new year, y'all. Happy new year. Uh, for those of y'all that are new to our first time cruises live, we always like to, to see who's new here. So if you are new to uh, the channel, put a two in the chat. Okay. So That's we different. can yeah, so we'll know because I had the ones for the volume, so I didn't want to get the volume mixed up with the with the new people. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody what? that's speaking. Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up, fam? What's up? What's up? What's up, Tam Tam? Y'all talking about something? I know not y'all doing lives on vacation. See, what had happened was <laughs> we originally was going on a New Year sailing, regardless. So we had that plan, right? Bro. So then we messed around, thanks to you all that consistently book Virgin Voyages through us. Then threw us into the top one hundred. For the second year in a row, out of over twenty thousand travel agents, yeah, what a what an amazing accomplishment! But with that said, <laughs> the sailing, the celebratory sailing, is like what is it six five days after we got off yeah. of the New Year sailing? So we were like, does it make sense to, to fly home, home? Yeah, go through that airport fiasco just to fly back. Right. So we just decided to book an extended stay, and um, we're staying out here in Miami. Um, real little quiet place. I ain't going to tell y'all where we at, but <laughs> it's a real quiet spot, real nice. So we got everything we need. We got a suite, so we have the yeah. bedroom over there, kitchen, over, kitchen there. over there. Yeah. Um, real nice, cozy place. Little, uh, and then we're going to head back to the ship on Saturday. Yup. All right, I see uh, we do have some new fam in the house. What's up, Miss Christian? Welcome to the family. What's up, Dom Farmer? Welcome to the family. Uh, what's up, Patricia, Tamara? Uh, what's up, Alicia? What's up? I'm trying to keep up where you are, Ashley. Um, L. Ryder, yeah. what's up, G? Pina says she can't listen because she's in the car. Safety first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can always watch the replay, baby, but we can't get another one of you back. So safety first. Indeed. Hey, Mari. What's hey, up, fam? World Travel, Utopia. What's, what's, what's up, Shanu? Hey, Shanu. Yes, indeed. Happy New Year, sis. Hi. Happy New Year. Say, so oh. tell us after you leave and looking for a new hotel for the Icon. I got you. I got you. Indeed. All right. I see is 133 okay, of you sir. guys in the house. So don't forget to smash that like button when you come in the door. And the most famous question tonight uh -huh. is we know we are gearing up for the 2024 cruising year. And I know y'all got right. some cruises booked. So in the chat, let's go ahead and start with that. Put down when you sailing. Uh, are you sailing this month, February, March, April, May, June, July? August. <laughs> I, I ain't going you, through all 12 months. You might as well. You're three-fourths there. Uh, what's up, T? What's, what's up, Roy? Hey, Roy. What's up, fam? That girl, Deja. Hey, what's going on? So oh. trust me, we ain't missing nothing in Richmond. Listen, we purposely got out of Richmond for New Year's this year because I'm not even going to try to be funny. We live in the short pump area. That's all I'm going to say, which is to tell you we live in a very good side of town yes it sounds like world war 75 on new year's because one thing about virginia you love your pum pums yeah. like we all love them we do too but on new year's it starts around 10 o'clock it does not end until like three o'clock in the morning yeah and i was like who wants to be sitting in their house just be like 
You better have your aim on right. Like you better know that what goes up comes down. Yeah. And you just never know. So I was. It felt so peaceful to be in an atmosphere where I had to <laughs> duck. But there ain't was, no shooting on the ship. There was no shooting on the ship, baby. Now and people they, were shooting. They shot. Oh yeah, yeah. But it won't no shooting on the ship. All right, I see T says she's going in, oops, it jumped on me. Did it uh, jump on September, me? Uh, I see. Uh, May for your honeymoon, Hunter. Okay. Well, congratulations. She loves my swag. It's going in June on the Glory family right. trip. All right. Um, Icon inaugural, well, I'll see you on board. Indeed. That's that's right around Make the corner. Sure you come up and speak to us. Uh, Cynthia said nine one. All right. Uh, to oh, you got Tola already. Hey Tola. What's up, family? Uh, so I see somebody going April the twelfth. Hunter. All right. So sailing in May. Royal going in May. I see Z Brown is going February and October the second. That's what all I'm right. I'm at October the seventh. Uh, indeed. All right. Hunter said five twelve. All right. Don Farmer said June the 29th. All right. I see some Aprils. I see some Augusts. Okay, so we just... Okay, we, so y'all don't fill this year up. Yeah. I'm we, not mad at it. All right, and before we get into the Q&A, for those of you that have any questions, uh, wanted to remind you hey, guys that we do have a group trip coming up this year in May, May the 12th through the 18th on Me the too. Carnival Celebration. Mm -hmm. So just in case you did not know about that, Wanted to make you aware if you want to join us, the link down in the description for that. And then also yesterday, we finally launched our Virgin Voyages Greek Island Glow group trip. That's going to be in September of 2025. And Not this year. Yeah, 2025. Year. And the reason we decided to do it like this is really it became, it came down to a vote of when people felt like they would be prepared yeah. for a trip like that because there is no secret that it can be a costly trip. Not yeah. only do you have to deal with the fact that you have to pay for the cruise itself, but you, depending on what part of the world you're flying from, that flight can be a hefty, hefty price tag. And we don't want y'all coming over there and, and you worried about your budget and all that. So 2025 would give a lot of people time to one, pay one, the yep. cruise itself, and then two, really get their coins in order to have an amazing time where you don't feel like you have to restrict yourself. Yep. So. And, and the dates on that is September the 14th through September the 21st. Yes, yeah. it is launched on our website yep. already. And um, if you were on our pre-notifications email list, that went out on last night. Yep. And crazy enough, we have bookings already. Yep. Um, I will say that the price is decent for now. now. So if you are a person that know for a fact, for a fact, for a fact that you want to go and you're like, oh, I'm going to wait on it. I will implore you mm -hmm. to get that deposit in because it's only going up from here. The reason that I know this is because from being on the inside with Virgin Voyages, this is a new mission to bring a lot of people to Barcelona yep. and bring a lot of people to Athens, Greece, which means that there's going to be a major push for this area and this itinerary, which also means that although we have group spacing, it's all about who's putting their money up first. Yeah. So if you want to go, make sure you do so. And I'm not saying that just because I want you to go out. Of course, I want you to go. But I want you to be able to get in on the best price possible if you know that you're definitely going for real right. for real. All right. What's up, Jerome? Jerome said, good evening, fam. God willing, we will be going on the celebration in May, celebrating my wife being cancer free. Amen. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord, man. Yes, now. indeed. And I pray that, uh, yeah, that you guys going to go. God is going to make sure that going to happen. Oh, it's, it's done. It's All done. right. I see I see that Lord, um, Lonnie. What's up, Lonnie? What's up, fam? Thank you for the $3 super hey, chat. Hey, fam. Thank I can't, you so We much. can't bring it up on the screen tonight because we're we not using our normal software. We're using we my cell phone. We got it rigged up tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it looks bad for us to be on the road with not having any lighting. So yeah, making it do what it do. We making it do what it do. <laughs> we try to bring y'all into our little background behind us, the ambiance behind us in the cityscape. But y'all probably can't see it. Y'all probably see the glare 
from the this window. light right here. Yeah. So we got a cute little view. All right. I see a whole lot from February, some October cruises. Well, all right, let's get into the, the meat and potatoes here. Uh, the questions. So if you have a question, we ask that you put a cue in front of your question before you do it. So that way we can see that you have a question a lot more easier. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't, if we don't see no questions, we just going, we just going to run it and talk and, and chat because it's, it's, it is, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's new year. Uh, we excited for what's going to be happening this year. Um, I feel like some amazing things are going to happen for all of us. Uh, yes. Um, if you believe it and have faith. Uh, so, and you work towards it. Yes. So, yeah. So let's see if we got any questions. I'm seeing a whole lot more cruises. I got some um, August on the Symphony of the Seas. All right. I will say this also. Wasn't planning to talk about this, but it just hit me on the top of my dome. Is we're about to get back on Boy Virgin on Saturday. Yeah. And this is the end to the best placeholder that is out there in the cruise market, in my opinion, with Virgin Voyages. You can put down an open deposit of $300, um, and then they give you $300 off of the price of um, your cruise, right. and then they give you $600 of onboard credit. That is going away. It is going away, and on our sailing is the last ditched effort to, to gather up as many as we can buy as travel agents, because after this sailing, that deal will be no more. Right. Of course, if we buy them, you still have the 24 months to use them, blah, blah, blah. The, the terms and conditions doesn't change. I'm thinking about just going ahead and opening it up so I can get some, if y'all want to buy those from me while we're on board and I can secure them for you. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that tomorrow. All right. Is that something that you all are interested in? Because I will only do it if that's something that you all want, um, because I if not, I'm gonna buy them for myself <laughs> because I always yeah. know that I can. I'm going. I we can going. offload them. Oh, we going out there. Or we can use them for ourselves. Yep. So if and especially if you are interested in going on the grease sailing, you can use your placeholder mm -hmm. and just keep on stacking the perks when it comes to those deals as well. Yep. So you can have. You know, right off the bat, you got six hundred dollars on onboard credit to use in Greece, and baby, you gonna need it. <laughs> you <laughs> gonna need it. All right. So the first question it says off top, off cruise top, a U.S. passport expires on April of two thousand twenty-four. Should I apply now? Yes. yes. And right now, the turnaround time is really is shorter than what it used to be. I think it's around um, ten weeks now for it to come back. So that's not bad at all. When we think about what happened during the pandemic and after the pandemic, I would definitely do that now. Get that back into your possession so you can start um, going on vacation. Indeed. What's up, Marilyn? Say hello, uh, Stanley Lynette Cruz family. Thank you so much. I made another live. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. Uh, what's up, Terrell? Said, uh, when are y'all coming to Galveston? <laughs> uh, see, I told y'all I tried. I tried. Y'all yeah. itinerary on the um, Jubilee. Jubilee, just a Jubilee in. Like, we've gone on that itinerary. And then for us, it would kind of be like the same of the same because the celebration, the Mardi Gras, and the Jubilee is the exact same ship. It just has a couple of personality tweaks, you know, throughout those. But it's the same ship and then it would be the same, same itinerary, itinerary that we did on the identical ship so until they change that i'm not even going to consider it i ain't even gonna hold you yeah <laughs> but if they do change it i will take one for the team and um i'm not gonna say any itinerary now but if there's a um a great itinerary that they um decide to put on the jubilee we're definitely open to it because we have so many fam God that are out there in Texas. Yeah, man. And we and would, would love, love to meet y'all. Yeah. <laughs> sail with y'all and cut up and then fly on back home. We so, would take one for the team so with y'all crazy. Send an email to Carnival and tell them to change those itineraries. It's crazy to me. Yeah. 
I thought it was a fluke at first. I was like, they're going to change it later. Yeah. What's up, True Story? Thank you so much for the two dollar super chat. Say August on the Symphony. Love this yeah. black love. Hey. Appreciate it. And Appreciate baby, it. Baby, I'm black. All right. I see T has a question. Does Voyage, Virgin Voyages have solo cabins? Yes, they do. They do. Yes. They do. They have solo cabins and they also have what they call social insider cabins. Yes. That are specifically made for people that are in like roommate situations. So it kind of gives you dorm vibes, like college dorm vibes. It's real cute. But also the solo cabins, they type. But we're not trying to keep you in the room no how. They nice though. They are nice. Yeah, they are nice. I, I think that I could do one. Yeah, they nice. Yeah. All right, the next question is coming from World Travel Utopia. What's up, fam? Say, might not be appropriate for this video. The question is always a pro question. Well, <laughs> As an agent, how do we print passengers' document because the aunties be calling? <laughs> <laughs> um, from Carnival, it's fairly easy. So once you go in the back office, you'll be able to say, I'm trying to think of the steps right here. But in Carnival, it's definitely, you can do it. Um, click on email me. I'm going to walk you through it <laughs> yeah. because right now I'm trying to give you the steps by looking at my invisible screen. <laughs> yeah. I wish we was, um, we had the software we could go on and bring the screen up and show you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next question is calling from Halima. What's up? Question. Um, I haven't been cruising since all the post COVID restrictions. Are there any post COVID restrictions now? Nope. Baby, as long as you got your credentials and the money, <laughs> you can sail. There are no restrictions. We don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but as a travel agent, baby, can you imagine how stressful our job was when we had to deal with this? Yeah. Dealing was... with planning for months, sometimes up to a year, get to that 48 hour mark. And somebody tests positive. Yeah. You have to go through all of that undoing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Luckily I didn't deal with it a lot, but I did have my fair share of people that just could not go because they tested positive. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, thankfully they didn't go, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it's over. What's up, Joseph? Joseph said, first time celebrity X cruise. Okay. okay. Said leaving on Saturday, June, um, January the 6th. Any first day recommendations? I haven't been on celebrity, but definitely have been on Royal now. And mm -hmm. we're getting ready to go on the inaugural for Icon. I will say for day one, if you've been on any other cruise line, just make sure you're not going into it expecting it to be the same as others right because that line wows you yeah but they also leave some things to be desired also when it comes to like the fun that you're used to having like on carnival oh. the hype like the the sense of community we we definitely did miss that when it came to the royal brand of course celebrity is still the royal brand right so adjust your expectations but you're gonna have gr a great time like every everything on that ship is going to be an elevated experience yeah because um addy and terry if you know them they just too long got off of it what a month ago not even that yeah maybe a month ago a few weeks ago yeah, yeah and uh it would probably leave their information in, in the description uh, and they got some videos on it. They showing mm -hmm. food, things you can do. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so they will be a really good resource for you. So I will say, um, if it's the same as Royal, and I'm pretty sure it probably is, on day one, if you have not scheduled your specialty dinings, mm. soon as you get on board, find one of the employees, and they usually have like these podiums set up everywhere where you can walk up to them and get your specialty done and scheduled. With us, we were able to buy it, but we could not schedule it before we got there, which was so weird to me. So for me, it just, I didn't like that, but if that's something you wanna do, do that as soon as you get on board. And I will also say, I don't know how their Lido deck is like kind of laid out. So if you are a person that likes to be in the action, you may wanna get to, their, to that place 
early and just stake, you know, stake your claim. Right. Because it gets packed easily. And after that, then the only option would probably be just to look at the fun instead of like being in the middle of it. Right. All right. Um, what's up, Ajeline? Thank you so much for Thank the 499 Super Chats that finally made it to a live. Thank you all for all the great information. You hey, are, anytime. you are, you are so welcome. So I see uh, Angie is going on a celebration in April. Uh, M. Riley is going on a celebration in May. Okay. I love the celebration. All right. Let's see. Uh, say Jennifer, uh, Jennifer said for group cruises, if we have a placeholder brought, can we use that to book group cruises with you? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. So uh, Jerome says, what is the best way to maximize your time on large ships coming from a smaller ship? So here's the thing. Go on the app and look at what they have available. Um, of course, they have these like windows of when they upload the events and things like that. Right. Soon as you know what that date is, go into that app and kind of make your mental note or you can do a graph because honey, I had a whole spreadsheet. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in this. So you can kind of have a game plan because with those mega ships, those, those large ships, there's so much to do, but it's not everything. Not everything is things that you want to do. Right. So make sure that you're scheduling yourself so that you can hit those things that you're interested in, but not trying to cram them all in like on the first day or whatever. I will say that depending on where you're going, I don't know if you said, if you're going on Royal and they have like the Aqua Show, I say do that on day one. Yeah. Because as they start to sail out, if the water gets too choppy, they cancel that show. So I made sure that I went on day one so that I could see the Aqua show. Other than that. That's a great show too. It is a great show. It's, it's great something show. that you don't want to miss. But yeah. I'm trying to tell you, it, it a couple of times, it had my anxiety <laughs> all the way up there. It had mine up there the whole time, boy. I had to look away a few times because <laughs> I said, I don't want to witness this. <laughs> if something goes wrong, like there is no, like there's no room for error. All right. What's up? Amazing. Oh, my bad. Oh, you know, you know. What's up, Dara? Said, uh, hey, it's Dara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when can we find out if there's any theme parties for the group cruise? For our group cruise? Or? You can answer for hours. Well, for our group cruise, when it comes to the things that I do, I don't um, announce those until after final payment date. Because mm -hmm. honestly, that's when I know who I have, <laughs> for real. Right. Like right now, anybody can, I mean, people can cancel after final payment date too, but if you, after final payment date, that's when you have your creme de la creme. Yep. So I let everybody know right after, like, I'm not one that's like, I'm gonna prolong it, like right after final payment date, yep. you right. start getting the information. Well, everything um, that we're gonna be doing. That includes the group hotels, all that good stuff. Yep. Um, when it comes to what the cruise line itself has, it's just blanketed. Like, but it does depend on it on the um, cruise director. Right. The cruise director can come in and say, "No white party. We're having a glow party for five days." Yeah. It's really because it's their ship. Yep. But yeah, like all of Carnival stuff is pretty blanketed. See, see, what up, see, G? So true story. Trying to start, trying to start some trouble. <laughs> what? Thank you for the two dollar super chat. Said, come on and be a lord to royal. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, I but did. I can definitely. This is what I say. We definitely have found that, and I'm not. Don't take this the wrong way. But the older we get, we are starting to appreciate slower paced vacations. Mm -hmm. So. We definitely see a place for Royal right. in our travel arsenal. And it's when we want to get away from the cousins, <laughs> the party, and the all I need. Oh, you just want, like you say, you just <laughs> want to chill. You just want, I want to yeah. chill. I want, I want an elevated experience. I want, you know, good vibes, good shows, which is something I usually don't even partake in. But Royal shows and are great. And we creatures of habit. Yes. And we find something that we like and we will beat it like a dead horse. Right. Boom, boom. Right. So we're trying to get out of that and trying to diversify our portfolio and our travels. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
What's up, G? What's up, G? What's up, Val? Hey, Deshaun. Deshaun, we met him in, um, at Mr. Sancho's. Let's see. Uh, Lena said, first cruise ever, June the 1st, 2024, the Carnival Dream out of Gaveston. All right, now. All right. So Patrick says, question, we heard the last little bit of the Europe uh, cruise in 2025. Can you tell us about that again? What you heard was you're paying for everybody, everybody. in the chat. <laughs> so go ahead and drop Ooh. that money. Let me stop. Uh, yeah, so we're doing the uh, the Greece trip of on Virgin Voyage, which is their Greek island glow itinerary. It's going to be on September the 14th through September the 21st, 2025. Um, we were saying that if this is something that you're interested in, uh, get your deposit together ASAP because the price isn't going any cheaper as you continue to go further in It's going to go up even though it's over almost two years away It's still the same. It's going to continue to go up yeah. because the Queen was saying uh, That this is a popular itinerary a lot of people are doing Mediterranean trips mm -hmm. So if this is something that you want Jump on it Go ahead and jump on it. Yep, so that's what we uh that's what we were talking about. And I will tell you this. I get this question a lot. Virgin Voyages is not like Carnival. I don't know about all the cruise lines, but Carnival has this thing with certain um deals if you book on the early savers. If it goes cheaper, they price adjust. That is not <clears throat> Virgin. Right. When you book it, this is the price is the price. Um they, they're not big on it. You may find every now and then somebody wants to just be like, boom, cancel, move your money over, do it like that. But no, that is not their policy. Their policy is once you book it, you're, that is the deal that you are in. And that's the price that you are contracted to pay. All right, got a question from Bree. What's up, Bree? Said, when will your travel agent classes start? I am eager to get started yeah. and learn from the best. <laughs> this month, but once we get back home. So I don't yeah, want to no. see, it really was supposed to launch probably like next week, honestly. But because this trip that we're getting ready to go on kind of threw a monkey wrench. And I don't like doing a lot of new things while I'm in travels. Because, you know, it's easier and better just to do everything when your setup is solid, you know. And so... It, if not the end of the month, definitely the first part of February. What's up, Steve? Hey, Steve. That, that's our man. <laughs> then. Enjoyed y'all on the cruise, yes. man. Oh so my much gosh. enjoyed y'all, man. Thank you so much for the nineteen ninety nine super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, hey. Uh, when trying to organize a group cruise, is it okay if a few people get a suite? Or should we stay in the same room type? Mm -mm. Much love. No, everybody can book whatever, whatever they, they want. Whatever their hearts desire. Yep. But I will say when it comes to groups, this is something you have to take in mind. When people book groups and some of them book rock star suites, they are the only ones that are permitted in the Richard Rooftop area. And they are yep. also the only ones that's going to have the VIP treatment service and also, um, depending on if they do mega rock star, is getting the blacked out SUV that brings you to and takes you from the port. So just keep that in mind. So sometimes people being in suites can actually like kind of put a little bit of a division with the group because if you have people that booked it because they just want to hang out in Rich's rooftop and do stuff over there, then the people that's in regular terraces are not going to be able we'll to go, go over there. Right. What's up, Harry? What's up, man? Say, I need to shoot y'all an email because I forgot I turned 45 this year. How you forget that? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I need to see what the plan is. <laughs> I mean, come on now. You look, you're too young to be forgetting that you turned 45. Ooh, right. But let me let me put you in on a little secret. My cousin will have you cracking up. I've been 45 for two years. <laughs> <laughs> you have. <laughs> And she's the one that's like, Linda, no. Nah, you older, you older than that, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. she's like, no, you're younger than 45. And yeah, then when I right, finally yeah. turned 45, she was like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Cynthia? 
What's going on? So Cynthia said, I'm not buying the drink package, but I would like a few drinks on the cruise. Should I just load uh, money on the sign and sale card to use? Just wondering. Either way. Yeah, either way works. Um, either way works. Yep. Either What's way, up? they're going to get their money. Yep. What's up, Cheryl? Happy New Year to you as well. What's up, Nisha? Say, I finally made a live. So glad you was able to make it. Uh, what's up, Tanya? Coming to Texas uh, when they get through my itineraries right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's up, uh, Shakia? Say, hey, I love the consistent information from y'all. Oh. Love the consistent information from y'all. I'm taking the husband and the kids on their first cruise this May. Question, need some tips with booking our first flights and transportation to and from the airport. Where oh, to and from the port, I'm sorry. Okay, if you're from one if you're sailing from one of these major cities, Orlando, Miami, whatever, I've been telling people for a while. Now I can give you a list of um um transportation companies to use, but I'm gonna be honest with you, everything is about Lyft and Uber right now, to mm -hmm. be honest. And I we have done it both ways, and I'll be honest with you. Them guys doing car services now are being, they have gotten really sloppy. sloppy. Uh -huh. um, we've had them leave us. We've had where we don't have to fight them for our money back. So for us, to be honest, Lyft and Uber is the way to go. Yeah, they're your friend. Or you could just get <clears throat> into a yellow cab that's outside of the airport in the designated areas. Don't go outside and flag down a regular cab because they may not be the real taxi cabs right um when it comes to flights i'm gonna tell you the way that i find my flights i i'm a delta girl but if delta's prices isn't isn't just crazy i'm going with well i'm not gonna do budget i'm sorry i've been i've tried to do it <laughs> i can't do it but go to expedia expedia.com put in when you need to come in where you need to go out and price compare where it's all in one place then go directly to that airline and book your flight. So there you'll be able to see it all at one place yep. and then do it like that. All right, I see it's 341 of you guys in the house. If you have not smashed that like button or if you enjoying the live, go ahead and smash that like button. What's up, Sherry? Hey, Say, Sherry. hey, my VA fan. What's up? What's up? I saw you talking about my hair. Thank you. Listen. <laughs> Me getting my hair done before this trip was a whole situation. But thank God my lactician, she came in the day before Christmas. Yeah, that was and, a blessing. And because she was sick. And she was like, I'm not doing hair while I'm sick. And she said, I will come in the day before Christmas and I will do you. And, and I was like, see, y'all don't understand. I have micro locks. I have almost 400 locks in my head. This is not one two hour job right it's a half a day <laughs> yeah you be going for a long time i'll be time. going for a minute so for her to fit me in on christmas eve i was yeah, like girl was thank blessing. you yeah what's up maddie said question hey lynette and stanley you love the videos thank you so much said i'm on the fence on booking a last minute at the end of february on the carnival radiant to and is that incendia it's it's an honor, yeah. Hey, don't judge me. I am. <laughs> Say, do y'all know if those crowds are more relaxed than normal? Whenever you leave on a sailing that's like in the cooler climates, they tend to be calmer. Mm -hmm. Just because. Um, even our New Year's Eve, um, our New Year's sailing, in my opinion, was turned down. It was turned up. But not like, but not but like, like a summer sale. Not, yeah, not like peak season. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, so that, yeah, because we, I'm glad that you brought that up because we said we was going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that when you, since we've sailed uh, after the summer months, so we've done sailed in November, uh, we've sailed in January. Mm -hmm. um, have we sailed in December? No. Mm -hmm. well, um, are we lying? No. No. Uh, so yeah, we've sailed in November and we've sailed this time. Um, yeah, we started December into um, January this year for the sure. New Year's. Yeah. So yeah, and we noticed that the crowd is even different. Um, and basically, we figured out we just taking a wild guess because a lot of people was probably already used their PTO yep. for the year, <laughs> so they don't took their summer vacation over the summer and they don't have the PTO to be able to take a trip 
you know, off season closer to the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, and then if you take an off at the end of the year, you might not be want to do a cruise. You might want to, you know, get off for Christmas with your family or off for New Year's mm -hmm. with your family. So yeah, it is a little bit less. It's still turnt, like you said, but it's, yeah, yeah, it's a whole different. It's a different crowd. Yeah. Just like <clears throat> Fourth of July is different than Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the right. vibes are totally different, <laughs> but still. It, as equally as can be is equally fun. Right. Uh, what's up, Joseph? Said question. Which is better to bring a passport or a passport card? Passport book. But if all you have is a card, then bring your card. All right. What's up, Adina? Said yes. Would love to meet y'all. Play cousins, indeed. Well, come on. <laughs> What's up, Renee? Say, hey, Lynette and Stanley, love seeing you both keep doing what you're doing. Maybe Hubby and I will get to see you on a cruise, and I hope so, too. Yes, indeed. And Crystal said, everybody needs to hit that like button. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, what's up, Deshaun? Said, on a celebration on September the 8th. That's what's up. Okay. I'm trying to find where you are, because I don't um, know where the heck you are. What's up again, Lonnie? So, question. So, in 2025, April, I will be turning 50. That's what's okay. up. We got a lot of people that's turning 50, man. We do. That's what's up. So, do you guys have anything planned around that time? No. You not don't as, not, know. Well, you not, don't know. Not as, I mean, unless you're doing something behind my back. I told y'all, Stan would be the loudest, wrongest one in the room. Oh, so we got something going on, Avery? I We have not released our 2025. We just did Virgin because it's so expensive. Right. <laughs> we gonna let you know. Because I will say, we tried to pull this all-inclusive for 2025, um, 2024. And the contracts just was not contracting. And what I didn't want to do was hit people with a... All right, this 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 is this is a thirty five hundred four thousand dollar thing, and the final payment date is within sixty days. A lot of people can do it, but I knew that that would x out a good amount of people. So that is something that is on the table for twenty twenty five, as well. It could be still on the table for twenty twenty four as a this what we doing. Right, you can do it with us. Come on if you can. If you can't, then we'll do an official in 2025. What's up, Alima? Alima says, Stanley just keeps skipping my question. Um, if you didn't do, I didn't see another one other than the COVID restriction question. Um, but we did answer that one, but we can't answer it and again. And maybe she's just behind. Uh, and the other, the, on the other thing, yeah. yeah. But if it's, the, if it's other than the COVID um, um, question, um, we, I haven't seen another one yet. So okay. my, my apologies. So put it back down in there. And then still understand that when we see in this, we see it's, yeah, it was it's a literally whole lot. like this. So if we ever pass your comment, I mean your question, don't think it's on purpose. It's literally human yeah. error. What's up, Kimberly? Said, uh, question: Do you know if we can bring an air purifier, and if so, what size does we it has to be? Happy New Year's, and Happy thank New you guys Year. for the videos that are very helpful. I will say that th the likelihood of them taking that highly unlikely but the smaller the better like make yeah. it look discreet don't make yeah. it look like what is this yeah <laughs> what is this don't don't bring attention to it so i will say just bring something a little smaller like a travel one you know and pack it in there nice and nice and cute don't bring no attention to it you should be fine sherry say the, the say you're looking good sis come on yeah, how you're looking good say, come yeah, on right. how What's up, Cheryl? Say, y'all the best. I would love to travel with you guys. Well, come Likewise. On. Come I mean, on. Ain't nothing to it but let's, to do it. Let's do it. Uh, Layla says, hello. Absolutely. I was planning to purchase the deal in February. I'm glad you said something. Yes. Okay. So we're going to make that live tomorrow where we're going to... So make sure that you're on the email notifications for um, CodeFundTravel.com. And we'll send out a notification. Well, I didn't put the email thing back up for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will do that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that you'll be able to get the notification when you can go ahead and or, secure. Or your... better yet, just send us an email to CodeFundTravel at Gmail, and then we'll just include you in the in That the works, email. too. Yeah, that'll be easier. We bootlegging it. Yeah, that'll be easier. What's up? What's up? Um... um... 
And my allergies are acting up, so don't pay me no mind. I don't want to mess it's it. It's dry. L N C something about you being sexy. Sexy and... Alice. What's up, fam? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh What's up, Nisha? Say, I took my first cruise in December the 9th on a Mardi Gras, and I learned so much from you, too. You guys hey, are awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. So glad to be a help. So, uh, Tuesday said, and we would love for you to come back to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, EJ? Because I promised myself when I left the last time, I ain't coming back. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, let's see. Uh, so Lima said, thanks, I thought you skipped me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. What's up, Toya? I'm going on a celebration in September. That's what's up. Uh-huh. So uh, M. Wim said, hey, Lynette and Stanley, I'm new and happy to be here on the live hey. chat. I'm taking two casino cruises this year on April for, um, April for 10 days Ooh. in September. Uh, for seven days, uh, do points carry over or restart? Casino points? I'm not actually sure. I don't think they restart, though. But I'm not 100% sure. But if somebody know in the chat, yeah. go ahead and put that down there. Yeah. I've never I, seen them restart, though. I wish uh, I wish Cuz was here. Yeah, my uh, cousin could tell you right on yeah, top of her she, head. Yeah, uh, she, yeah. We call them the, the uh, casino professionals. They know a lot about the casino. Yes, God. Yeah. What's what's up, Kimberly? Uh, hi y'all. <clears throat> hi y'all. Uh, just heard you say that you're all a tra that you are a travel agent. How may I contact you to get information for a solo cabin deal? I am grateful that I found the live chat today. Thank you. All right, hit it, Stella. Hmm. Hit it. Hit what? <laughs> what? What you talking about? You don't know how to get in contact with me? Yeah. I, oh, you was, I was like, you would hit it. I was, I was like, did you see something? It's, uh, yeah. it's too early. It's too early. <sighs> um, you can um, you can send us a, a email to uh, codefundtravel at gmail dot com. Um, right now we are not officially back open um, doing bookings, but we are January. You said when 15. I get back, so the eleventh. Okay. 11th. January the 11th is when I hit the ground running again. Yeah, but you can still uh, also send an email so we will know right. and have you we'll to have be able you to uh, get you get you going. And if you did not want to wait on me, I definitely have a backup agent that I use. Yeah. Who is equally as amazing as I am. Yes. Um. So if that's an option that you want to go with, I am not offended by it. He would be grateful to take you on as a client as well. So just let me know that as well. What's up, Queen Lifestyle? Question. First time cruiser. First things to do when on board. Also got faster to the fun. Sale January the 12th. Oh, kind quest. Kind quest. All right. First things to do when you get on board, because it is a rite of passage. If yeah. you eat meat and eat beef. To get a guy's burger. Guy's burger, yep. Right? Embarkation day guy's burger. And it is what you have to do so that people know it's real. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that. The first thing that you also want to do is because now they have like this hybrid muster that you have to do, which is a safety briefing. Go ahead and as soon as your feet touch that ship, Mm -hmm. Go check in at your muster station. Yes. Get that <clears throat> behind you so that you're not in the middle of your festivities and you hear your name or hear several people. We can't take off until everybody has done the muster yeah. because it is a requirement that everybody does that. Yep. And if you don't do it, it's a possibility that you can get kicked off. Yes. For it. Have we ever seen it done? No, no, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, uh, the next thing to do is since you have fastest to find, make your way to your cabin. Go ahead and put your stuff down, but keep in mind that your cabin could possibly still be open. And I like to tell people that because just because you can get in your cabin does not mean that they're not still having the doors open, right. cleaning, restocking, because that is not the guarantee. The guarantee is you have access to it. So don't put anything down that you feel like would make or break your trip if it goes missing. Right. Um, love to tell people that. So if you want to like put your stuff in the safe, 
lock that away, great. But I would not be one of the people that, oh, put my backpack down and it has my laptop. No, 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 no. Also, you want to make sure that you put your cell phone in airplane mode. Yep. Uh, because we don't want you to be charged hundreds of dollars while your phone is trying Roman to roam fees. out on sea. Because a lot of people do forget to do that. But the mm -hmm. good thing is, hopefully all you've already downloaded the Countable Hubs app. But in the app, it also reminds you again to make sure that you put your phone in airplane mode. And lastly, I'll say is make sure that after you got your guy's burger or you went and got you a drink or whatever, make sure you get to sail away pretty yes. early to get you a good spot because that be it back. fills up quick mm -hmm. and you'll be you'll be in the back in the nosebleed section on your tippy toes <laughs> like this trying to see <laughs> so we want you in the middle of it yeah right. once you're in the action <clears throat> what's the, what's up uh jay pharaoh jt pharaoh says have you been um been on a 10-day cruise uh-uh no how long was greece seven seven yeah longest has been a seven. i'll be honest with you i don't think i would last that long it took <clears throat> us a, a very long, long time, time to, do it. to even get to the seven day yeah mark yeah 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 no <laughs> i don't know <laughs> if i can do it um maybe one day um i definitely want to expand myself to do an eight day soon but 10 mm. i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it because the way i'm set up I need change. Nah. What's up? Michelle said, how do you get on the game that they have on the ship like Family Feud, Deal or No Deal? All right. Oh, so yeah. they have where it's, you're going to see it on the Carnival Hub app where they have audition times because we audition for Family Feud. Mm -hmm. um, and then wherever they say it is, like for instance, Family Feud was like in the middle of a hallway and you just went and they signed you up. Well, you signed up, they took your picture just in case you made it, blah, 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 blah. Um, same with the other ones. You have to, well, deal or no deal, it's kind of like on a lottery system where they pick yeah. they pick your name, number, name, or whatever it is, and then you get called on stage. But right. the fun thing about deal or no deal is you can play in the audience as well yeah. by buying those cards. Yeah. So just because you're not on just going on the stage doesn't mean you can't play along or even win. That show is hella intense. It's intense though. Yeah, it's intense. I like it. <laughs> All right, our fam G Fox said y'all better hit that thumbs up for the fam. And she means it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Walt? Uh, I don't get to tune in the lives often, but I love what you're doing. Thank I'm you. the fam you don't know yet. <laughs> hey, well, we know you now. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> What's up, Wanda? I'm just looking on your computer because I have no idea where well, you are. Well, man, I'm, 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 I'm running it. What's up, Tim? Say, hey, what's going on, my distant uncle and uncle? I mean, aunt and uncle. What's hey, up? Hey. What's up, fam? Say, Cheryl said, first time traveling on the Carnival Glory. What are your feelings about the boat? That boat. Um, that was actually our first. That <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. That was our actually. Uh, that uh, was our first um, cruise ever. Yeah, but it it wasn't um it wasn't the boat it was it was it was us, us. yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna be honest with you. There's not a lot that I remember about, about it, it yeah. to give you my real opinion about the ship itself because we had such a bad experience because of us. Yeah, I didn't know what it was doing. Repeat, it was <laughs> us. <laughs> it was not the cruise. It was not the ship. All us. So because our experience was so bad, there's not a lot of things that I really remember that mm -hmm. were great about it. So I know that doesn't help, but there's a lot of people that love the glory. Yeah. And if anybody in the comments, if you've been on it, um, put that in the comments. And if we see that, we'll go ahead and, and let you know. But I think because um, glory is, is on the same um, class as, um, is it sunshine? Sunrise? I think oh, it's bigger smaller. than Sunshine. It might be under the same class as Sunrise. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Tim says, uh, question, real birth certificate or a copy? My wife and I are going on the Carnival Conquest at the end of the month. As long as your copy is very clear and it is a copy of a true birth certificate, they'll take the copy. 
Uh, oh yeah, and um, back to that glory uh, question because of our crews bombed on glory. That's the reason, the one of the reasons that we do this now, so we can help individuals that are first timers, so yep. that you won't have a bad experience like we did because we didn't cruise for years after that experience. We was like cruising is overrated. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we're here to make sure that everybody that comes through our channel will have a higher probability of that's cruising happened. again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let me see. Could this thing jumped on me? Let me see. Let's see. Maybe we play some whole music. Ba da da da. So. Ba da da da. Uh, let's see. I didn't want to miss. All right, here we go. We back. All right, Dora said yes uh, for our group cruises. I'm um, I'm so excited, indeed. Yeah, yo. All right, Rachel said hello. Just wanted to see if you uh, if you only do carnival only. No, I do carnival. I do Virgin, and then here recently I've added Royal Caribbean. Yeah, so Virgin, I mean, Royal Caribbean is a new launch, so that's going to be a new one. That we and I'm trained on all of them. Don't get it twisted. I could probably do them all, but I have a thing where in order for me to be the best agent to you and for you, I have to have experienced it. So I'm not big on, and, and eventually maybe one day I'll get there, but I don't like saying that I can help you with something that I have yet to experience yet. Yeah. So because I have not experienced those other lines, I just won't sell it. Yeah, it made me re remind me on um, like back in the day when I was much younger, I used to work uh, as a telemarketer. Yeah, telemarketer. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with being a telemarketer. So if anybody is a telemarketer, I'm not downplaying your job. Uh, but, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. And so shout out to everybody that, that does that job. So I was selling Williamsburg. And so y'all know I'm in RVA, so Williamsburg is down the street. So we, I was trying to convince them to send me to Williamsburg to the resort that we were selling. And they refused to send me because I was like, I'd be able to sell it better if I know what the experience is and what it's about. And they refused to send us to the resort. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I thought about when you said that. Yeah. <clears throat> what's up? What's up? Uh, Michelle said, hey, Queen, Lynette, and your boy, Stanley. Stanley. Uh, finally caught you guys live. I, I watch you all so much. I think we are related for real. <laughs> I mean, you could, hey, if you live in Virginia, play cousins. Love y'all. I love you too, sis. <laughs> but you got to be kin to one of us because that would mean we're kin. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we're not. <laughs> what's up, So Derek? pick one. <laughs> What's up, Dirk? Say, hey, guys, big fans. Quick question. Are you guys going to board the Carnival Jubilee when they change the itinerary? Yes, they change that itinerary. We will be right on it. So uh, Rika said, I'm interested. Um, Valerie said, hey, y'all, my first cruise is in August 2024 yeah, on, on the Carnival Sunshine. Yeah, we've been on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We actually enjoyed ourselves. That was, yeah, uh, we, we did, did a, our group cruise. Yeah, on, did a group cruise. Um, group cruise on in 2022 yeah we we did a um cruising with the fam group <clears throat> cruise with um two channels our channel and um dre and shan tv yes had a great time great time, great, uh, great time. what's up leon said i fell in love with your royal after my cruise on the wonder of the sea okay okay, okay. royal is a um wonder of the sea is a beautiful ship yeah uh what's up the sweet life's a question for msc do we print out all documents yes today? <laughs> the book yes are you gonna let me finish nope. your question because nope. <laughs> i feel some kind of way about it and then here's the thing they didn't ask us for that but you still have to print it because sometimes they ask for it some people they ask for it on our um within the group some people they use the um the QR code, the scan, be prepared for anything <laughs> with MSC. Can I finish the question? No, now? I saw it. <laughs> Say first crew for my birthday tomorrow. Thank you so much for all your help. You are You're so welcome. welcome. You're so welcome. Yeah, it's a freaking book. I was like, I'm gonna run out of printer ink fooling around with this dang on contract. The ticket, the ticket, the ticket, 
contract the ticket to take you on the flight. <laughs> What's up, Vegan Vic? Uh, Vicky said, first cruise on uh, 9-1 on the celebration. Super okay. excited. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Casey? Love hey, you guys. Casey. Thank you for all you do, uh, keeping us informed. Uh, we try. You're so welcome. What's up, Jennifer, again? Uh, question, uh, am I the on, uh, the, I'm on your website and can't find the, find the September 24-5 cruise. Can y'all post a link when... Y'all upload the video. All I see is something about uh, groups for version is sold out. Uh, it should be on the homepage. Yes. If you're on the website, it should be on the homepage. But also, it is already in the description of the video already that we're on now. So you can click it from there or you can do it, you know, after the live. If I can grab but, it, I'll drop it in here real okay. quick. Okay. Appreciate it. What's up, Miss V? Uh, hey, Lynette and Stanley, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you Happy as well. Happy New Year to you too. What's up, Rachel? Say, wanted to know when is a good time to book through you all. Did I do that one already? No. Oh, no. Sorry about that, Rachel. I thought I thought I had got this one. Say, uh, thank you for the 499 Super appreciate Chat as well, you. fam. We appreciate it. Say, want to know when when is a good time to book through you if I want to travel with with you? I like planning and paying stuff off ahead of time, like September, October, twenty twenty four. Right about now. So soon as I open the floodgates, definitely be one of the ones that's in there. Cause I'm like you. I like to deposit, pay on. Cause I. The way that I'm set up these days, we do multiples. Yeah. <laughs> so deposit pay, deposit pay, deposit. Even if I got it, I want to hold on to it as long as I can. <laughs> What's up, Andre? Thank you so much for the 199 super chat. Greatly appreciate. Greatly appreciate it. Oops. I think we got too much going on at once, my. <laughs> And What's up, Stacy? What's up, fam? Says Stacy in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fam? So, uh, Dean Nashley 23 said, honestly, if y'all are interested in Greek of 2025, I will book now. Yep. So, I book my um, Greek version sailing for May for 3600 for two, and the same same crew seven months later is almost 5K. Yep. So, book now. Yep. See, so told y'all. Yep. So that's your confirmation. That's what we were telling y'all. Yep. So if you want it, you got to jump in now because that price is going to go up. And then also the other side of that is the flights that once we get to that point, you're going to want to do those quick because those will run up really quick. And y'all know what we paid. I mm -hmm. told y'all that when we went in June, we paid $4,000 a, a piece for our flights. And this was not business class. This wasn't even Delta Comfort. This was Delta economy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we pay $8,000 for our flights, mind you, like I said before. We didn't have the luxury of planning this trip because it was, I was one of the top five in the east, on the East Coast for Virgin Voyages. So that was a celebratory cruise that they sent me on as well. So I didn't have the luxury. But I do have the luxury of putting that on my taxes as yep. a write-off because <laughs> it was a business expense. Indeed. What's up, Kanisha? Traveling with the kids on Carnival Liberty in February to Nassau. Can we enjoy without doing an excursion? I think so because especially now they yeah, have they redid, redid the, the port, port and they have a really good um, museum right there within the port area that you can go to. Um, we didn't have the opportunity to go because somebody spent my cash and I left my card on why the ship. You, why you put my personal business on <laughs> I the left street. my card on the ship. But it's a hit for everyone that has gone into there. They, they really enjoy it. And then there's just so many things to see right now. They have um like a theater section where they do concerts and stuff. Yeah. So I think you'll have a good time. And even if you get out and you say, oh, we want to do something else. You can always walk out of the gate area and, and find some things to do right in that stretch. But be careful because they're going to be over there. Like, if you decide not to go in <laughs> yeah. there, they're going to be whistling. Shh, shh, Come over here. Over here. Shh, Come here. <laughs> One of them was doing like this. Come. I was yeah. like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ashley said, everyone hit the like button. Appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, what's up, Kimberly? Kimberly says, question, I'm a little behind, and I just heard you mention 
uh, you can put $300 down and get $600 on onboard credit. Please give me more details. I'm interested. Okay, so with Virgin Voyages, mind you, this is coming to an end. We don't know the specifics of what's going to happen. I think <clears> it's going to be more of a tiered thing, honestly. So what, we're going on the sale on Saturday. We get off mid next week. After that, that deal is no more. So right now, what you can do is you can do an open deposit. It's $300. So with that $300, you have 24 months to pick a sailing to go on any Virgin Voyage um, itinerary you want to. Right. You get $300 off of the total price of said itinerary. Then you also get $600 of onboard credit to use on that sailing once you go. Like I said, this is a last dish effort to secure that bag because <clears throat> that is that promo is going away. Yeah, so they're coming out with a different so one. So they're coming out with, with a, a different, different one. one. And in my opinion, I think is I think it's gonna be kind of tiered because they've already started doing that with the bar tab. Right. It used <clears throat> to be if they had a promo and the bar tab was included, everybody got three hundred dollars. Yeah. Well three hundred for the for the cabin. Now it depends on what cabin, cabin you book. book. So if you get just a regular balcony, you may get $150. Right. If you get an insider, you don't get nothing. If you get a rock star suite, then you can get three. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking that it's going to be like that. To be like that. <clears throat> yeah, I do too. Depending on what you what you secure would depend on what the onboard credit is going to be. Right. What's up, Sandra? So happy new year. Love your vlogs. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank that. You. Uh, what's up, Joe? Sailing on a Freedom in May. Holler! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up again, Harry? It's a question. I think I did the down payment thing when we were on the group cruise. How do I figure out how much my down payment would be on the Greece trip? You can email me and I yeah. can um, break it all the way down for you as long as I know what um, cabin category you want. But you also can do it yourself, honestly. So go into your back office on virgin.com, go under My Voyages, and you'll see your placeholder right there. Click on it. Once you click on it, then it'll spin you around to you being able to pick your itinerary. And you can do it right from there. It'll tell you what your what is required to secure that bag as well. All right. It's well, pretty easy. But some people like for me to do it because you know they just want to make sure they did it right. right yeah what's up bobby joe said what's up guys been following you for a while appreciate hey. that said going on my first cruise at the end of july hey. thanks for all the tips tricks and advice you're so welcome you're so welcome what's up destiny said hey hey i love y'all's channel uh when booking for a virgin cruise with you all will will a payment plan be an option Yes. Yeah, if you book it out further if enough. If you book it out further enough. Mm -hmm. And that's for any cruise <clears throat> any line, cruise, honestly. Yeah. As long as you book it out um, far enough, you can make payments on it. Yeah, so we'd be like, if you want a decent payment plan, we say book it out at least 12 months. At least. Yeah, at least 12. Yeah. Uh, what's up, uh, Mika Harris TV? Hey, I am a new subscriber for a week now. I'm glad to see y'all. for well, say, welcome. Welcome to the family, and thank you so much for supporting. We greatly appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. What you bringing to the cook now? <clears throat> Said G. Wim said, question, Stanley, you got to let the brothers know where you get all your shades from. His wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she go on, um, she go on Amazon. They on Amazon. Yeah, and most she of them are Amazon. Yeah, Some she found it from me on Amazon. Some are Shein. Like, they, we don't spend money in our shades because guess what happens? Lose we them. lose them. Or break them. Or break them very easily. So, yeah, Amazon, Amazon have a, a good variety of uh, shades for the brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... You just go out. How do you normally search for them? You just men's. men's I search. will go to the ends of the world to find what I want, <laughs> and yeah. I do. Yeah, you do. Um, no, I mean I just look because I'm. I, I guess because I stay in that algorithm. I guess because I'm yeah, always yeah, searching for stuff. You. So yeah, you know I'll see one that piques my interest, and then from there it just spirals. Yeah. And I, then I have $300 worth of shades in my cart. I would send you over to the our Cruise Essential store where I had... Oh, we have some, to revamp that now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for some of the glass, I did put some of them out there on our website. But 
Amazon has went through some changes, so you can't see it. So I'm in the process of fixing that. So on uh, the road. Yeah. <laughs> that is not fun at all. But yeah, check out Amazon. Uh, so what's up, cruising capers? Hey, what's family. up? What's up, family? All right, Michelle says sailing on a carnival celebration in September. Need a decent hotel suggestion for the night before. I'm fake bougie. I'm fake bougie, so five star <laughs> look without five star price. Okay, because I'm going to get ready to give you already. Yeah, we're ready to give you one right there. I'm getting ready to give you the intercontinental. Yeah, but, man. Woo. Okay. Dependent, she says September, or it might be a little expensive. But Marriott Biscayne Bay is good. JW is definitely five star. Yeah. <laughs> um, Citizen is a good one. Moxie, that might be a little bit too up there. Hilton, um, what's the other one? La 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 la. Double Tree, Hilton, downtown. Great one. Very, very much fits the bill. That's the one. All right. What's up again, Andre? Andre said, uh, and thank you for the one ninety nine super Appreciate chat. It. Uh, cruising Virgin Voyage on Sunday. What do hey. you put on your beard? You just missed us by one day. <laughs> yeah, one day. Yep. So um, I actually formulated my own beard oil that I've been using now probably for what? A year? About a year? I think no, a little over six months. It's been about a year. I think about six months. Well, well Don't it's, it's challenge my, it's, my authority. <laughs> it's my own thing because I, eventually I do want to sell it. Um, but the thing about me is I want to use it for myself and make sure that it's copacetic on me and all that stuff. And so far, it's been, it's been good. Uh, but when I'm satisfied, I'm going to put it out uh, for sale because it is hard to find some good beard oil. Uh, but in the meantime, if you do want a good beard oil that I was using prior to this, that my bar, Rob, shouts out to Rob, if you're going to hear tonight is uh, the Cantu Beard Oil. Cantu Beard Oil is really nice. It'll make your beard real soft, you know, don't make it look dry, you know, stuff like that. So that's a good one um, if you need one right away. Now again, that's Cantu Beard Oil. Yeah, the bottle is like yay high <clears throat> yeah. with an orange top. We could only find it in Walmart for the longest time. I don't know if Target has it now or right. not. Right. Uh, I think I found it in um, CVS one time. But that was like a stretch. <laughs> uh, what's up, uh, Mika Harris TV? Thank you for the $2 super chat. Great. I finally see where you are. You finally see where I'm at? <laughs> I'm like, you've been rolling with it. And you've been doing good. Let me give you your prop. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What's up, Dash Life with V? And uh, thank you so much for being a member for the last 10 months. We yeah, greatly, appreciate greatly appreciate that. Greatly appreciate it. Said so, laughing out loud, I think uh, I got two memberships to you all channels Whoa, online. I'm going to need you to. Said, so, let me cut one of these yeah. off. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I like you being a blessing to everything, but we don't want you to overpay. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's Harry. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You definitely Man, have How do you two. end up with two? That's when you know people got money. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> What's up, Cynthia? Yes, I absolutely love you guys, your energy, and genuine concern for us to have a beautiful travel experience. Thank you so much. It is. Yeah, that's true, and that's and that's that's exactly why we're here because we definitely want. Who you has to have, time and money to? Waste? You pay too much. You 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 pay. Yeah. You pay too much not to have a, a good time. And and check this. I mean, we were <clears throat> in corporate America. We know how crazy it is to have that pto bank mm -hmm. and how you manage it better than you manage your money sometimes mm -hmm. <laughs> so for you to take the chance to go on a vacation and not have a good experience we know how that feels yeah and that's why we were like okay as people started asking us questions we were like okay we definitely would help you and we give and then we were like well shoot we <clears throat> might as well do this on a mass scale because we keep getting questions after questions so Right. Definitely. And that's why we took the thing to a, another level and started doing the groups because we mm. feel like, yeah, it's like me and the queen, we vacation. We have a great time. Y'all see, y'all see, mm. <laughs> we have, we have a great time, but it's just something that when we get with the group. Yeah. Oh my. I mean, it just, it just explodes your vacation experience to a whole nother level. Um, it basically, elim not basically, it eliminates you having to even find somebody to connect with because the group is already it's the connection. connection. 
and you meet some you meet some dynamic people that you would never ever meet and then sometimes you guys will be friends even uh -huh. after the cruise like uh -huh. we have not so many but we have a few people that uh matter of fact we have uh one couple that we met on a group trip last no 2022 that actually went with us on the this past one. on the on the new year's eve cruise so the failed all-inclusive group trip yeah <laughs> so y'all didn't know we did a we did an all-inclusive and it flopped like people weren't interested in going but this couple happened to be there and we've been rocking it ever since it didn't really flop i just think that it that people kind of was got excited and then they forgot. Yeah. And we didn't, we were bad with <clears> keeping it before you. Cause I don't like to be like that person. that like, I got this, I got this trip, but honestly, we got to stop not putting it yeah, out there. Yeah. Cause we can't because assume that everybody, everybody know. doesn't no, know no. everything and everybody right. doesn't come to your channel every week right. to get that information. So I think it could have been way more successful than it was, but we had, we're like 15, 20 of us. Yeah. And we um, had, man. And we had a ball. We had a time of our life. We over were there. in Mexico yeah. at Unico 2087, which is a luxury resort. Baby, we turned that place upside down. Yep. And then we <laughs> and then we have some fam um that's from that same trip that's going on the Grown and Sexy 2024 this year. Yeah. As sure well. it is. So yeah, group trips, man. Like yeah, don't that's hesitate. Crazy. It's like don't hesitate. There's three either. people from that trip going. Yeah. Yeah, so in the comments, if you've been on the group trip, and you can confirm what we're saying. Like, did you meet some dynamic people so that people can get more excited about taking groups? Yeah. It's, it's the ball. And then it's not <clears> about <throat> us on our group trips either. Like, It's about the whole it's group. It's about everybody as a whole. Yeah. Now, granted, we, we definitely be in the thick of it with our mm -hmm. people because why would you come if we weren't? <laughs> but um, everybody makes their own connections with each other. You know, some people as a group, some people singled out. Like it's it's a it's good to sit back and watch how people just open up and formulate these friendships that blossom. And some have traveled together afterwards. Right. You know, so it's it's great to see. What's up, Shamika said? I noticed the vibes were different when I took my cruise in December. Yep. Yeah. So thank different. you, thank you for um for confirming that because it yeah it is and it doesn't mean that it's not gonna be fun. But it's it's not the dynamic that, of the people are different. Yeah, the summer the summer crowd vibe. Yeah, is like all the way up. <laughs> and then you also like, you know, psychiatrists and you know will tell you that people's energies and moods are different during the cooler months and things like that. Right. So you also take all of that and put that into a vacation setting. People aren't as hype. Then you got the weather. Yeah. Like, like, like on our sailing, like there were sometimes, like even New Year's night, we did not come out until the last moment because yeah. it was so freaking cold. Thankfully, we got in the middle where people was blocking the wind. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so cold on New Year's Eve going into New Year's that we couldn't stay out there. Said that the wind was getting in my parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we was in Bimini. Man, that water. Ice cold. Ice I was cold. like, what am I doing, man? I'm out in this ice cold water. Ain't it? <laughs> but we were determined we were getting our butts in some water before. Yeah. And it was. And the water was so blue. Yeah, because we didn't get in no water on the crew on the no, ship. No, two guys doing cold. Yeah, we didn't get in no water. What's up? Uh, what's up, Kwana? Said, uh, we caught a lie. <clears throat> Woohoo. Absolutely. Happy, blessed New Year. You Thank too. you so much. Right back at you. Uh, <clears throat> Mika Harris say, uh, TV said, glad to finally catch y'all's live. Thanks for sharing the wisdom. You are so welcome. You are welcome. All right. What's up, Alana? Uh, what is the dress code for eating in the dining room on a non-formal eating? First cruise in a few no, weeks on the Carnival Magic. It doesn't. <clears throat> They have they have some rules like you know no tank tops and no flip flops and no swimwear. They have but if you come in there with that stuff on, they ain't gonna they ain't they gonna, ain't gonna, do, do, they gonna do nothing. They're gonna they gonna look at you and say, "How you doing, ma'am? How you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> How they do it?" And let me show you to your table. <laughs> <laughs> I got tickled about those. Sir. I'm not ignoring y'all. I just don't want to stop coughing. <laughs> What's up, Taylor? Said question. I have three night cruise in February on the Allure. That's what's up. Well, uh, that's a short sailing. Said we have no sea trip. days. 
and, oh, really? and have one day in Nassau and one day in Coco Cay. We have That's no awesome. we have no excursions for Nassau. Is it worth booking any for that day? We did the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So we did the four day though. Yeah. And we just walked around Nassau. So if you want to kind of gauge it, look at that video on um our channel when we did the Allure of the Seas. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can like peek and look around us and see what the port area looks like. But we didn't. We went around, had a few drinks, vibed out with the locals, and then went right, and went right, back. right back to the ship. We went right back to the ship. Yeah, cause we 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 but we've been <clears throat> a lot. Yeah, we've been to Nassau a lot, and then we were stickler that we ain't going outside that gate unless we got an excursion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause sometimes my tolerance for the aggressive dish is yeah. You just Ooh. yeah, and I understand that they you, you know they, they they need to hustle, need to make the money, but it's like it's like after a while you be like leave me alone, leave me alone, <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. What's up? Leon said, I like to cruise in November. That's what's up. Okay. Um, I play a lot. Said, do you all ever worry about bad weather? Absolutely. Yeah. That's um, and we're ignorant. So we <clears throat> we have a tendency to always want to sail from our home port in at the end of hurricane season. And then we worry if it's going to be bad. <laughs> but here is my thought process. And this is what I tell a lot of people that start to worry yes things can happen out at sea that's unexpected yes mm -hmm. but they are not putting that ship in any kind of danger not on purpose all, anyway if at all possible so if they take that thing out to sea then more than likely that means they can bring it back safely i ain't say they care about you they care about that ship <laughs> because the ship makes what money, money. What's up, Rachel? Hey, honey. thank you for the one nine. I said, can you go back to my question? I um I waited to get an answer. Was it? Thank you. I hope, what was it? Was it? Let, let me see, see if I can find it. Yeah, I think it was the one about uh, booking the trip. Was it that one? Oh, go back. Wait, wait, I, I wait, think wait. you see it right there. I think we did that one. Oh, <clears throat> we answered that one. Yeah, but it, I, was it the one where you say y'all wanted to know it was a good time to book through you all if you wanted to travel with you? Yeah, like we the plan. answered that yeah. one. Uh, but if it's another one, um, but she may me, have did that before we before answered. that one. Okay. But if it's another one, we'll, let we'll. us know. What's up, uh, Chalez? I hope I said that right. If I didn't, forgive me. Hello, everybody. Love the channel. Hub and I are thinking of cruising this year. Your videos are so helpful. Go ahead and do it. Jump in. Let's go ahead and do yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Hey, you're armed with the information <clears throat> yes. to make it successful, so just go ahead and try it. What's what's up, fam? Fam, uh, Katamia? Katamia? If I said your name wrong, please, I gotta say, please I know why I said me. it wrong, too. Said, question, does Carnival do anything for a birthday? be honest with you they really scaled back on doing it the way they used to do it but they still do acknowledge it as long as it's notated on your booking that's the important thing <clears throat> is having it notated on your booking but even if someone if you're using a travel agent it's not on the booking just tap a little a waiter on the shoulder and be like hey is that one's birthday or it's my birthday and they usually will come up with something real quick. Yeah. Honestly, I think they get a kick out of just singing. <laughs> yeah, because on the last group trip, they were bringing out what they brought out cake. They whatever dessert you yeah. chose, they put like a candle on it or something yeah. like that. So it wasn't like the they used to give you like a little cake, but now it's the dessert that you chose. At least on the one we were on. All right. Mika, uh, another question for Mika has sailing the, the 12th um, a Carnival Conquest to Princess K, hey. Nassau, and celebrating my graduation from college. Oh, congratulations. Well, congratulations. Congra in That's advance. what's up. Yes, indeed. Yes, God, what a great accomplishment. All right. What's up again, Jerome? So, uh, what is a trick to cruising in a carry on? <laughs> <laughs> something practice. you bring that, yeah, much practice. Much practice and <clears throat> doing. A lot of vacations and learning what you can scale down from yeah because for us we would come back and there would be tons of stuff that we never touched and then also keeping in mind that in a crunch 
you can always send your stuff down to be laundered. Laundered? <laughs> what means laundered. laundry? Yeah, laundered. Oh. Did you just uh, try to correct me? Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I thought of money laundering. I mean, that part too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what it means to clean it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah must practice. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, Are we perfect at it? No. Are we yeah. in a carry on right now? Nope. Nah, we couldn't. I um, have two pieces of luggage. Uh, Cause what we found, what we what we found out, it's much easier to do uh, the carry on life on a five day. Mm. It's it's much easier. And anything yep. beyond that, it becomes com- it becomes it, a stretch. It, it, it becomes a stretch. So we've we've mastered five day. So we're we're trying to master the rest, but we just we don't know if we're gonna be able to get there. But we we do yeah. still take the carry on only advice, even though when we use the bigger bags too, and still take as less as possible. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> What's Anybody up? Anybody else randomly does that? What's up, Ari- Ariana? <laughs> said finally caught a live. <laughs> Going on my first cruise tomorrow. That's Ooh, what's up. All right. So I owe you guys for all the knowledge I learned. No, you don't. You don't owe us nothing. Not at all. All you owe is having some fun and come back and let us know about it. The thumbnail is beautiful, by the way. Indeed. What's up, Zaire? Said this information is for Deshaun. We are going to be on a celebration in September to Aruba. Love to hang out with other Cold Fund family. There you go. Zaire, you didn't tell us about that trip. We would have kept never saw No, it. he told me about it. Oh, okay. he, yeah, you told me tell about him it. Tell him telling me. <laughs> I'm just picking. <laughs> What's up, Shemaine? Happy New Year. What's up, Crystal? Say, caught another live. That's what's up. Glad you was able to catch it. What's up, Patricia? Say, question. Hello, just started watching you guys and love your energy. My husband and I want, husband and I are wanting to take our first cruise in August of 20, 2024 for our 36th Woo! wedding anniversary. We are very nervous, which is very, everybody goes through it. Everybody goes through But if yeah. you made it through 36 years of marriage, Oh yeah, you you make it you through you make can, it through that cruise. You make it through that cruise, baby. Yeah. Let me tell a <laughs> you. How, how many and, years we've been married? I had to yeah, because we've been so I am the wrong person to ask when it, it comes it'll to It'll be twenty two years this year. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be twenty two. Yeah. So, uh, so y'all, are, if you can go through some years, you can go through a cruise, baby. Yeah. Y'all so, are right. so I would say everything that's in your mind that you nervous about most likely is not it's gonna not happen. Gonna happen. No. The ship not gonna capsize. Nope. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but most how likely. many ships capsize? Right. Nope. Because these are the questions I get all the time, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what are y'all watching? <laughs> um, then people be concerned about being um, seasick. You yeah, can minimize that you can by minimize getting, that. getting C bands or Dramamine. Get in the correct habit. Uh, some people uh, uh, stress about. Um, it hit my mind when you said that. It just it, it just people went stress out. Oh, out falling about, off the ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you just can't fall off of a ship. No. You you have to like. You know how much liability you got, that somebody is? has to throw you, or you have to throw yourself to get off of it. Boom. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to be nervous and excited and overwhelmed that's is, normal. Is, is normal. Because so. it's different. It's something that you haven't done before. <clears throat> yeah. So anything that's outside of your norm, you're going to be um, a little nervous or a lot of nervous about. Yep. And so when you get on there and after you start having a good time, you're going to be like, I so overthought this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I'll be, like, be transparent with you. Even when I choose to go on something different. Mm-hmm. Different cruise line. When we did um, Royal, boom! <laughs> like because it was so foreign to me as a passenger. Right. That's why I don't like sell anything that <clears throat> I have not did before. Because learning it through your your portals, your travel agent portals, and learning through those different screens and you know, testing and stuff is nothing until you do it. Right. So doing that, I was like, I am all over the place. <laughs> so then I'm able to start talking to my people because I am the same person <laughs> that you are on the other side. 
What's up? What's up? Samuel said, hey, fam, how was y'all's New Year? It was it awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. To the point where if I get a free moment, I'm going to look for a New Year's yeah, cruise yeah. for next year. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah we're yeah, going to make that a tradition. Like that? I'm telling you, it, yeah. That was that was it. Yeah. That was <clears throat> it. And you heard us say that, you know, it, the the we felt like it was a little bit more calmed down than what we're used to. Especially for Virgin, because Virgin is insane. Yeah. But it still was great. Yeah, it still was lit. Yeah, so, <laughs> it still was lit. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't have anything to compare it to, you would have been like, yo. But if you sell a Virgin in the summer, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, whole, 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 whole new experience uh -huh. there. Uh, what's up, uh, Simona? Says you guys are awesome. Thank you uh, for all the great information. Queen Annette, where did you get all of your gorgeous eyeglasses? Everywhere. <laughs> so most of them come from Zelo, Z E E L O O L. These ones in particular. These are the better quality ones. But for the most part, they come from like Amazon. They are not prescription. They're blue light because as I've gotten older. The blue light is killing my eyes. So especially when I'm sitting in front of these computers or under these lights, I try to put on a pair of blue <clears> lights because I only got two, you know, two eyes and I'm trying to keep them until I shut them yeah. permanently yeah. <laughs> because baby, them lights be tearing me up. What's up, Sandra? Question, is there a cruise that does the APC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, yeah. and um, I can never say that right. Um... Carnival Horizon does that itinerary. That's the one I know right off the top of my head. But yeah, they go to the ABCs. Mm -hmm. I still haven't been, but that's where I want to go. What's up, Dean? Nationally 23 said, where did you stay in Athens? I'm going doing the Greek Island Glow in May. You ready we, for this? We stayed at the Stanley. <laughs> and I ain't joking either. No. That, was, that was the hotel we stayed at was the, the Stanley. The Stanley. And we loved it. It was a, it was a nice hotel. It was very yeah. nice and centrally located. Yeah. So if yeah, you're looking for out. one, check um, that out. The price was not bad, in my opinion. Um, the Metropole, that was um, another contender, but it was sold out. Um, Intercontinental is also a really good one. So you definitely have your options, but I will say, read the. Um, read the reviews because there are all kinds of mom pop boutique type of hotels some are great some don't have good go on TikTok. TikTok be showing you the real that's how i found the stanley was because all the TikTok girlies was doing the stanley and i was like yeah, if the TikTok girlies is doing it it must be good and when you came and told me we were staying i was like you joking yeah, so I, say, you, I thought she was I thought she was messing with me. <laughs> What's up, Ashley? Said an old subscriber here. Yeah. What's up, hey, Ashley? Ashley? Um, with a nine cruise question. Lynette, who's babysitting mama while y'all outside? Her sister. Her sister, yep. My auntie. All right, Jerome, as another cruise points don't carry over. Thank you, Jerome. Okay. So uh I hope you still on that uh uh, that asked that question. Yeah, cruise points don't carry over. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Said uh, Jennifer. Said I have never seen Stanley so confused <laughs> that hit the three of all. <laughs> yeah, that she did that to me, man. What? Yeah, you did that to me, man. Stanley said, "Hit what? Hit what?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "You don't know how to get in touch with us." You're welcome, M. Williams. Uh, Leon said, are you guys, uh, do you guys book cruises only? Yes. I used to do everything because honestly, y'all have heard me say that all inclusives is my favorite mode of travel. Like that's my baby. That's what I love to do. Yep. But cruises just seem to be what y'all love to do most. And that's where majority of my bookings are is that. There are a few people that I have booked cruises with that when they ask me to do resorts, I'll do it for them. Right. <clears throat> but I just don't open myself up to do resorts because it just kind of takes me out of the flow of what I do consistently day in and day out. Right. 
What's up, Kimberly? Thank you. You are great with this. Thank you Thank so you. much. We appreciate that. There we go. Oops. What's up, Akisha? Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Uh -huh. I love you guys. Love you too. I am going to be starting my birthday month right after I'm leaving on the Carnival Pride on Sunday. Hey. I will be celebrating until my birthday on the 26th. I Listen. know that's right. <laughs> Woo! So you might as well go ahead and celebrate for the for the next month after that too. You might as well start today. Right. <laughs> I mean, what are we waiting for? Right. What's up, OG Blue Bang? Say, I've been on Carnival Liberty on my birthday. Uh, I will be on the Carnival Liberty on my birthday, January. On where? The Liberty? Liberty. <laughs> on my birthday, January the 22nd. 44 years. That's what I'm Come talking on about. now? Yeah, I'm 44 now. I turned 45 this year. Uh oh. What? 45. Say the big 45. 45. What's up, CM? Say, hey, you both rock. Thank you so much. Thank Looking you. forward to doing one of those virgin trips in the future with you guys. As I'm you booked on a Jubilee out of Gaveston, December the 24th. So you're doing Christmas cruise. That's what's up. Okay. Curious to what's the issue with, with, uh, with ha the, what's the issue you have with the port? It's not the port. It's the itinerary. It's the, it's the um, itinerary. And I don't like y'all airport. Now, now, I, I can deal. I, so if they change our itinerary. I can deal. I could. Yeah, I can take I can an deal. L for the airport. That. Yeah, we don't like y'all airport. But if they change our itinerary, yeah, we would definitely. Yeah, we would definitely come. Yeah, I have an issue with you. Listen, we can deal with our port in Norfolk. We can deal with any port. No, it's not that. They need to change the uh, itinerary. What's up, Kimberly? Say, please repeat the details about the three hundred down and the six hundred dollar mm. onboard credit. Oh no, we had to watch that in the replay. <laughs> <laughs> we had to watch that in the replay. Huh? What's up, Ramona? Happy New Year's! I'm excited to hear your uh, 2024, 2025 group. Uh, the, the, I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. I am excited to hear your 20, uh, 24 and 25 group crew schedule. Say, uh, please share your location after you check out things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah. After we go from here. What's up, MR? Say, May the 11th, sun, uh, sunshine, eight days in the Caribbean cruise. I can't, it can't come fast enough. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. But it'll be here for you know it, though. It will. Yeah. And then you'll be like, dang it, I got to plan something else mm -hmm. to look forward to. What's up? Um, Shaw said, "Too bad for me, my sister. Uh, too bad for me. My sister planned the cruise for seven days, and it's my first one. I told her uh, she was wrong for that. Uh, it's in August, so keep us in your prayers." Was well, it wrong, honey? Yeah. Now I will say, doing a seven day the first time, I don't know if I personally could have done it, but honestly, now that I have done a seven. I would have lived. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, I would have lived. Um, I just, I don't know if I would have lived that first experience that we did because it was us. <laughs> so two more days of the hell we went through, I don't know if I would have made it. T says, excited for Alaska, September 2024. Appreciate all the information and hard work from you all. Thank you so much. And you hey, are so welcome. welcome. All right. LT Dab said, got all the information uh, got all the information from my first cruise from you all's past videos. Just want to say I appreciate y'all and love the vibes. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And glad we was able to help. Absolutely. All right. Let's Where see. are we? Oh, I'm. Huh? You trying to? You still? I, I, I got you lost, man. Yes. What's up, OSU uh, fans for life? Going on a jubilee in February the third through the tenth. Looking forward to this trip. Love you guys. Keep up the great work and keep making these videos. And will do. Because we actually enjoy making them. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. What's up, Angie? Any recommendations for excursions in San Juan or St. Thomas? I don't have you on that one. I see Addy and Terry is in the chat. Addy and Terry sound off. <laughs> What's up, fam? Let's see. Uh... What's up, Danielle? Uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. 
I didn't miss any uh any else. I don't know where you are. <laughs> uh, you go all the way to the all the way to Oh, oh you, you oh you in, oh you oh you at the back. Oh you uh, I thought you was in the back office, you on the front side. I know what happened. My um my thing flipped from live chat to top chatters. Cause I was uh, like, why can I see what you see? Hey nephew, I see you in the chat. So they all in the chat. Oh so they what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, nephew? That's our real nephew too. Yeah. Not 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 y'all. They're like this blood nephew. Yeah. <laughs> The one that looks just like his uncle. What's up, Tony Johnson? Question, happy New Year's. I'm planning a large family cruise on Carnival Celebration for 2025. Do you all have any recommend recommendations for companies that has charter buses for 30 people or more out of Miami? Oh yeah, that's there are several that do it. Send me an email, I can send you um, a contact that I have. It, it ain't cheap. But they definitely can do it because in order to get that bus out there, yeah. But I can definitely do it. So send me an email. Love you too, Danielle. Thank you so much. So EJ said, I was on the Zoom before this live and somebody was on a resilient lady for 46 Ooh. days. Woo yeah, That's a long time. Listen, I am looking at cruise, uh, world cruise TikTok. If y'all are not on TikTok, get on TikTok and look at the Royal Cruise that's going on now for that cruise that's happening for nine months. Baby, the drama, the clicks, <laughs> the formulation of you're here and I'm here that's happening on it. They running out of wine. <laughs> it's a, it's they running out of wine? They running out of wine because on that trip. Yeah. They gave everybody unlimited drink packages, and they already running out of wine. Oh, darn. So wherever they poured at for that day, the crew was having to get off and go to the stove. Had to go to the liquor stove. <laughs> that is That's messed up. So you still got to spend money. No, they not. No, the crew is bringing it on board. Oh, okay, gotcha. So they gotcha. can stock the um, bars with it. Royal Caribbean, that's ghetto. <laughs> that is ghetto. All right. All right. Stay, so now stay. I need to find where you are now. Yeah, the, the, it jumped on me. So I'm trying. I'm trying to find. Uh, what's up, pretty girl? Thank you so much for the one ninety nine super chats. Hey, okay, do so you, let me find her. Well, no, I'm, that's not you. where I'm at. I just see oh. it. So I'm. 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 I'm, I'm yeah. So, uh, uh, do y'all plan on doing a first time on Royal Caribbean um, video? Yes, we are planning on doing some of those. That's funny because Tavon had hit me up earlier today and asked me would I do that, and I said I guess if the need and the request for it comes up like we can definitely do that um because sometimes we like i don't like to do videos that i don't feel that people need or want because who wants a dead video on their channel but if it's because i feel like there's so many videos and content out there for rural caribbean i didn't know that our voice was needed in that area if that makes sense so if you feel like our, our voice is needed oh we're gonna do them. we can do them. We're going to do Oh, well, the, oh, the boss do. has spoken. Yeah, we're going to do <laughs> <laughs> You know that sarcasm, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed? What's swallowed? up, Quentin? Thank you so much for the four ninety nine Super Chats. I'm a teacher, but I would love to be a travel agent. Can I be under your agency? I don't have nobody under me. Yes. Uh... I don't have the person that, like, I would be the worst person to have as somebody over you. Because I am an a-hole when it comes to business. I am so strategic and so strict. You would hate me. <laughs> and I'm being honest. That's why I didn't, I'll, I'm, I'm scared for the people that want to learn under me. Because I am very militant. Um, that y'all would be like, oh, that's a B right there. Like, you got to do it that way. You got to do it that way. Don't but listen to her. She's sweet. She's. So I'm sweet. very, I'm very much a sweet yeah. person, but the business side of me is very strict. She's sweet on business side too, because I do business with her. Oh, so, I'm sweet with but she, him. But she, she more harder on herself than somebody else. So yeah. I sleep with him, so I'm nice to him. But, but anyway, <laughs> what's up again, Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> Say question. What she load money on your sign and sale card? You use that to pay for things, drinks, food, et cetera, on the ship. Are there any additional charges that come off your car at the end of the cruise? Gratuities. Yeah. So if you didn't prepay, prepay your gratuities, 
it will come off. You do have an opportunity to take them off or adjust them. I don't like that, but that's that's my personal conviction. But that is an option. Other than that, no. No, no, no. What's up, Shonda? First time on the live. Hey, fam. Welcome. And glad you Welcome. was able to catch it. This water just... <clears throat> What the hell's happening yeah, over there? Trying to catch yeah, that water. What's up, Cheryl? Thanks okay, for your honesty. Okay. You're so welcome. Uh, Pam Crew 26 Glory, very, very outdated. It, it is an older ship. With the Glory? Yeah. Because yeah. we <clears throat> got on the Glory, what, in like 2008? Yeah, it sounds 2008, yeah. Uh, and then we just didn't touch cruising. Like, we did all inclusives until, after that. Until 2019. Until 2019. And his Aunt Cookie put all that in motion yeah she did we tried to avoid we tried to avoid she was like i want to take a cruise but i only go y'all go and we was like oh can y'all believe that not on purpose but the opportunities for cruising for me that well last year was so extensive that we did not even get an all-inclusive in last year and you know that's my favorite thing to do is go to a resort kick back and have the vibes of the culture of the of whatever country we're in like that's my jam and cruising has been good to us this last year it has. that we just haven't had an opportunity to do anything other than if it wasn't for you know getting top awards um being um chartered you know not chartered but being able to go out and being sent out to greece and stuff like that so it's been an amazing cruise heavy year for us but I'm trying not to do that this year. <laughs> I am trying not we to said, do that. We said that last year. Yeah, I, I want to get back to my all-inclusives for personal travels. Yeah, we definitely going to go do at least one. Like Michael Jackson uh, I'll said. take two. I'll take two. What's up, the Bama Tradition? Thank you for the nine ninety nine dollars Super Chat. Uh, Carnival does events for military. Any Anything for law enforcement? No. Like like a celebratory um, event like they have in no. They just do it for the military. Yeah. What's up, T Rock? What's going on, fam? Damn. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. Say uh, what's going on, fam? Need y'all to do a new packing video because I be over <laughs> here packing for no reason. <laughs> Listen, Ooh. you would be. So disappointed in me if you saw the stuff that I have this trip. We had to though. We, we had, had to, to because we we're gone for like freaking twenty days almost. Yeah, so we had to. Uh, I wish I had the we had the bags in here, but they yeah that's yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, so we had to. I have enjoyed like being in this extended stay and kind of like not doing anything, but it's been kind of crazy because guess who's still been ordering Amazon. Yep. <laughs> and then I got to go down to the front desk and, and get inside for my packages. <laughs> like I really have like a like a concierge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where are we? What's up, Z Brown? Question. What's y'all's favorite destination and what has been y'all's favorite excursion? Um, um, for, Greece, Mykonos. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Greece. When we're talking about Europe. Yeah. And my, the favorite excursion that we did also was in Mykonos. And it was being in the Maconian home where we yeah, had the that cooking was awesome. um, demonstration with the, um, the lady. It was so, and it was the excursion I didn't think that I would like at all because Virgin sent us there. And it turned out to be the best one for me. Like, cause I, and because it was so unique, like you can go anywhere and go to a day parties, which we did. Right. You can go anywhere and do this and do that. But that was so unique to um, Mykonos that it was, it was a great experience. Indeed. And the lady that hosted that, she was, she was a trip. Like, have you ever seen um, my big fat Greek wedding? It's her. It's her. <laughs> yeah. Wrapped up in one person. That was her. <clears throat> Where you know. What's up, Alina? Thank you for the nine ninety nine super chat. Said, how much cash should I take for a eight day cruise? It, 
I used to say 500 for yeah. a five day, but honestly, like now, we've even gotten away from carrying a lot of cash. I just yeah. carry enough cash to, to, to tip. tip in person mm -hmm. and, and to, and buy, stuff to buy stuff in port mm -hmm. and have a little bit of extra like emergency funds that in mm -hmm. case like a car go missing, I got enough to tie me over until I can, I can get something done. So it, 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 for an eight day cruise, just, I'm not saying carry $800 in cash on you, but maybe have, maybe bring half on board with you. And then if you need more, suck it up and get that out the ATM. Maybe do it that way because that is a lot of cash to have on more, you. Right. But maybe start off with like 400 and do it that way. Have it in different places and then make sure you lock that skit up in your cabin um, and yeah. your um, safe as soon as you get on board. Yeah, because everything on the ship is 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 cashless. It's cashless. Yeah, you know, on the only place you can spend cash is in the casino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's up, Renee? Oh, no, Quana. Uh, I'm hosting a group cruise in oh, November on the Magic. That's what's up. We are so excited. That may be the only cruise this year because I have a senior graduating Ooh. this year. Hey, I feel you. God bless you. It was it was expensive when but I was we in, school, were in school, and I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> but I knew it cost a lot of money, so I I know it's a lot now. So that's a major accomplishment to be able to do that. Yeah. Because graduation, woo. Mm-hmm. And then if they off to college, it's a team no kids over here. All right, we got another verdict on the glory. So Renee said we just came off the glory Christmas cruise out of. New Orleans. New Orleans. Um, never again. Thank you for that. Hey, Everett. What's up, Everett? Hello, everyone. Love this. Thank you so much. Uh, what's up, Dark Side 72 said, first cruise coming up this year. Question, would I be able to bring my fishing rod aboard? Absolutely not. Uh, nah. And, and please don't. Yeah, because um, over the, was it over the summer? Yeah, somebody tried that to fish over the side of the, the of the ship, and they got banned for life. For life. So we don't want that to happen right. to you. <laughs> now, if you're a person that you're going to go, like, say, for instance, in Bimini, fishing is a real heavy thing. If you're doing an excursion that requires you to fish, then maybe you can bring a collapsible rod. But if you're thinking about, like, doing something off the ship when it comes to fishing. No, 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 no. What's up again, Walt? I haven't, let me see, did I do that one? No. Okay, haven't cruised in over 10 years. So I've been watched a bunch of y'all's videos over the last six months, six All right months. now. Wow, appreciate that. For my cruise out of Gaveston, January the 15th. It's literally to, around the to, corner. Right too. around the corner, I appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you got enough information to help you out to uh, get on um, get on that cruise and have a great time. So a piece of the pie said, why was the glory experience so bad? Because it was us. I am, gonna put, I am not going to put that on that ship. So first of all, I we have a I think she might have been talking about the other person that just no, came up. No, because the that's, too, that's too, too, close. too close for it to be about that one. Gotcha. So we have a video. Our horse, um, our first time horror experience, <laughs> which really in detail says a lot. But honestly, we basically paid for a trip, did no research because YouTube wasn't a thing back then, you know, for to pop in as somebody like us is like talking to you, you know, educating and trying to give you tips. So we basically went on something that had no idea what came with it, what right. was not included, right. what we could bring, what we could not bring. So we really started off in a bad disadvantage. Yeah, we just packed and went. We packed and went. And because we didn't know a lot, we overspent like buying things on board that we should have been prepared and brought ourselves. It was just a lot. And then we tried to be cheap with the excursion and listen to somebody else. Yeah, to go and, to a free beach that didn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Ended up on a fish boat with church pews mounted on it, and that is not an exaggeration. It was a fish boat with church pews that blew black smoke. As soon as we got to Nassau, we was offered 
drugs. <laughs> we almost got kidnapped. Yeah. Uh, what else happened? Something else happened over there too. We walked around for forever and ever and ever because mm -hmm. we didn't know that once you got off the ship, you could actually come back to the ship. Yeah, we like thought I said, you, yeah, we thought you had to stay all I day. I thought you had to stay off until it was time to get back on, like school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was a lot that we did wrong. Yeah, that yielded to us having a horrible experience, and I got sick. What's up, um, Andrea? Say y'all have inspired me to try Royal and Virgin because yeah. I was I was uh, blindly loyal to Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> May not be anytime soon, but I'll try. <laughs> I love Carnival, but I am very specific when it comes to the ships that I personally sail on. Like y'all have heard us say, if it leaves our home port in Norfolk, Virginia, we don't have a choice. Um, and most <laughs> of the time, that's the ones that we do with our family because our fam most of our family do not fly. Very few of my family members that will get on a flight and go with me. But other than I'm going to Miami, I'm going to where the new ships are because that's my jam. Like right. if I'm gonna fly out, it's gonna be new and big. Indeed, because you bougie. I am. I'm travel bougie. What's up, Desiree? Happy New Year, and thank you so much for the $99, 99, $0.99 cent super chat. Greatly appreciate Every time you do that, I always say $99. <laughs> what's, what's, up, what's up, Gucci Wayne? Hey, y'all, which cruise lines can I book this April? My, wife, my wife's birthday, and we are planning on taking our eight-month-old son. Okay, I'll get ready to say virgin, but nope, can't take the eight-month-old. Yeah, carnival will probably um, be. Carnival or... or uh, huh. I say yeah. because you're bringing the eight month old, I say do Royal, honestly, because yeah. um, they have so many things to do and that will, you know, tantalize the, your um, six, um, eight month old um, sensories. Yeah, I think that would be great. What's up, Angelie? Hey, I'm here. Thought hey. I had missed the live. No. Nope. No, we still we still live and in the flesh. I'm trying to figure out why we've been on here so long. Ah, cause That's because we love y'all. Yeah, man. We love y'all. We, we, Let's we see y'all. What's up, King? Uh, King Ma? King King, King Mon. I've seen I've seen your wedding. Yeah. Mine's was the craziest one. It mine's was the craziest one you ever seen. What? Uh, so the world will see it. <laughs> so you have to send me a link to your yes. wedding video. Yeah, we got to see that. So if any of you all don't know, our wedding video went viral. Years it's gone ago. viral it years ago. a few times. Like yeah. we had to take it off of our channel because it was stolen. And then the person that stole it put a copyright on us and said that we was using their video. And I said, you yeah. don't see me? Right. This is my video. <laughs> this video. Right. So we finally, you know, beat it and had to re-upload it. So I think now, I don't know how many views it got now, but it done went viral a few times. Yeah. But it was well over the millions at one point. What's up, sugar? How you doing? Uh, all right, Jennifer's Jennifer said, I found it from the description. Thank you all. You're awesome cool. and so organized. We try to be, but not all the time. <laughs> Ask us this week. <laughs> What's up, Aaron? Oh no, Lynette got um, got me scared trying MSC for the first time next month. <laughs> we're gonna pray. Yeah, we're gonna pray. Um, and I'm not one of those people that I, I usually can give things a second chance, but no, 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 no. That's one that I'm just like, yeah. So make sure you come back and let us know. Yeah, how you what your how your experience was. Yeah. yeah we would definitely want to know. What's up, Star? So I see my next verge promotion, but I can't seem to figure out how to get get the added to the grief strip under the grown and sexy group. Uh you know I don't want to be left out <laughs> fixing Jesus. And we don't want you to be left no, out. No, um email me, Star, I got you. Let me know Indeed. what um if you go out there and just tell me which cabin that you want, uh, I'll work it from the back end. Indeed. Uh, what's up, Window? Hi, love your videos so much. I'm cruising on a celebration in in um, in October, and all I am hearing is mahogany bay horror stories. Why? Yeah, is this port really that bad, or people's expectations just too high? 
Okay, so you're going on the celebration because I will tell you this. We just got off a of virgin and we went to Honduras, but they don't port on the mahogany bay side. Right. They port on the Rotan. Rotan side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, and the tour guide said, yes, you're in, in the, the hood. hood. Yep. <laughs> I'm, when I'm telling you, NASA yeah. ain't got skin on this. Yeah, cause we was like, what? The like we, freak like is we, this? like we didn't see nothing. This the last time we. But went when on we Lawrence. went on celebration and they ported us on the mahogany bay side, it was normal. Like yeah. we had no issues. Nah. Like we never saw anything that even looked crazy. Right. But unless something's done changed since we've been there. But yeah, I'll, yeah. Yeah. So I will say this. It's not a country that, for me personally, I would roam freely. Like, I would do right, an excursion right. yeah. in Honduras. Yeah. So even though the tour guide did say that you won't get hurt because tourism um, money, their money maker. is their moneymaker, but he did say that if you out, you know, late mm -hmm. at night. But it started to get dark, he yeah, said. Yeah, he was get. like, yeah, get, yeah. He said bad things will happen. Yeah. What's up, Leroy? I said, I finally called a live. It's late, but I'm here. Indeed. Hey. Say, uh, Miss R said, question, my brother is traveling with me on his first cruise and he is disabled. Any tips for traveling with family members who need extra assistance, especially with embarkation? All right, so make sure that that is marked on the booking. So if you're using a travel agent, let them know they can do it. If not, get in touch with Carnival and tell them to contact the ADA department so that you can get some assistance as soon as you get there and for um, disembarkation. Also, you may want to be one of those people that purchases faster to the fund because that will get you in on the ship within the first wave of people so that you'll just have that extra space and so that you won't be like mixed in the crowd because trust me, I understand. I travel with my mom who's disabled. So having that extra leeway helps tremendously. Hopefully you have a um, ADA cabin. I'd be jealous of those cabins, but yeah, cause they they're huge, huge. Um, bathrooms, huge. <clears throat> so with um, other than that, um, did you say what ship you're on? Mm -hmm. um, I will say some ships yield to a better experience when you're disabled than than nah, others put the ship on there. Um, if you're on a sh uh, smaller ship then be prepared that sometimes going through the crowds going through the dining room may be an issue but if you're doing like for instance carnival magic was perfect my mom was whipping that thing uh -huh. she the thought she was ship, on the yeah. indy 500 so <laughs> bigger ships will give you more space yeah she was rolling that scooter yeah so other than that relax and have a good time so uh, Pam Cruz is talking about NASA. She said, don't walk out that gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's. Yeah, it's a whole new world out it's here. It's a whole new it's world. It's a whole new world. So let your nose be no. Yeah, say no and keep walking. And keep walking. Yeah, don't, like, if you stop, Don't even stop. entertain it. Just say you no to, and keep on walking. You're going to have to be the mean <clears throat> person that you probably aren't. aren't. Yeah. And that's bad. And you don't have to be nasty. Just say no thank no. you and just keep on moving. And keep moving. walking. And if they keep saying, oh, no, 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 thank you. No, no. No thank you, but just keep on moving. Or don't even acknowledge them after that. Yeah. What's up with Sean to say, oh my goodness, I finally called a live. Hey, everybody. I am hey. so happy that you two are being recognized for hard oh, work thank you. you put in. God bless you both. Thank you so much. Listen, when we um when that clock struck 12 and 2023 left up out of here, and I am not a crier, man, the tears was just like, wow. <laughs> God, you showed out this year. Yeah, he did. From being let go of a 23 year career mm -hmm. and really like I was going to do this on my own anyway um but I was going to slowly ease my way into this right but to be like sink or swim mm -hmm. and to be able to do what I love and it actually works and being able to have my same integrity because you know anybody can be a travel agent but everybody ain't got no integrity and 
some people don't care about the people. Some people will send people away anything and don't care about them. So for me to be able to still have my moral compass within a job right. and still be able to flourish <clears throat> was amazing. Yeah. Amazing to replace my income in months. Right. Was like, whoa. It's a miracle, man. <laughs> was a miracle for my husband to be able to find his niche within the family business and his not cross over into mine. He right. has a separate position that I have. Man, God was good this year. Right. And I'm glad you said that because anything is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just trust God and move by faith and take action. So like this year, whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, take massive action. Mm -hmm. you, 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 might be, you might feel crazy. Like, so when we got laid off in 2021, we said we refused to go back to corporate America. I'm, we was tired of getting laid off. This, this, that was like my third or fourth time yeah, being laid off. And I'm like, I just can't. I, I said, I'm over 40 now. I can't keep on just starting over and, and trying this thing again. Like, you know what? It's, it's, it's time. It's time. And we got out the boat and we've been walking on water. And uh, it's, 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 it's not always peachy and cream because, you know, once you get out of uh, having to be dependent on a paycheck, because when you have a business, money doesn't come it's every week or every two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, but God has been good. Our bills have been paid. We've been able to still travel. We've been still able to be able to bless people. So it's, it's and been amazing. we can amazing. pay for our own health insurance. Yeah, pay, yeah. And that was a major concern. <laughs> that was, was a like, major concern. Yeah, because like, and, and with that said, benefits is actually holding a lot of people in bondage to their jobs. But I'm telling you, man. It wasn't that, as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, it was, it was not. I yeah. found an insurance broker. And here's the thing. I don't know where this is coming from. But sometimes in life, we don't want to seek help from the people that are professionals in the area. Right. So for instance, a lot of you all are on here learning how to do travel from a travel agent but won't employ a travel agent. And it's the truth. So I was out there looking to try to figure out how the hell I'm gonna do insurance, looking at this one, looking at this one, calling Anthem, calling Aetna, yep. and all of them giving me these, these astronomical <laughs> amounts to pay and i'm like shoot somebody got to get a part-time job yeah so they did it <laughs> and something said call an insurance broker mm -hmm. and that man was like okay send me your 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 w um your um your last year's tax statement send me what your income is for the last three months da -da 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 -da. he put all this stuff in the system he said boom this is what I can get you. Matter of fact, I'll get you the same plan you had with corporate America. Yup. And this is how much you be paying. Not to tell y'all our business, but I pay, we pay more, um, pay less. Now. Than we paid when we worked in corporate America yep. and it was, the premium was coming out of our check. Yeah. With, the, with them adding money to it. Yeah. Look at God. So. Yeah. Sometimes. What looks impossible is because we're not looking and getting guidance from the right, right. people. Boom. Right. So as you as you pursue your goals and your dreams this year, don't be hard on yourself. Just give. See, the, the thing about it is you have to give yourself time to become the person that can do the thing. Mm hmm. And that's not my saying. That comes from, I've, to, I've told y'all before about uh, Myron Golden, uh, which one of our mentors, love him to death. So in other words, we've been working at this. We've been doing YouTube for eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. And we've been perfecting our skills, perfecting, you know, all this stuff. We don't yeah, have, we don't have a, a camera presence, all that. This, is, this has been in the making for years. Right, we just ain't show up. We've right, been doing yeah. it. So, so, so. If you just starting out on a goal, don't expect to be the best out the gate. Just know that eventually, if you do not quit, You'll you will there. be the best. How do we but get here? I don't know, but we here. But and when I say the best, not necessarily the best 
um, in the industry that you choose or whatever you choose to do, but the best that you can be and always keep growing, always keep striving, always be trying to become better. And I'm telling you, it's, it's going to change your life. Mm -hmm. And when you can, um, and Myron say this and it, and it's, and it always is stuck for stuck with me that if you do it long enough, you will become the person that does the thing that does the thing. And his motto is be, do and have or become the person that can do the thing so you can have the stuff. Mm -hmm. But most of the time we want to go after the stuff before we try to become the person. And what I mean, the stuff is all the stuff for the traveling, the cars, the houses or whatever stuff that we want. We don't become the person that can do the thing to get the stuff. So forget about the stuff and focus on becoming the person. Mm -hmm. And when you do that.